but we do end up the episode with legendary and i would say let's just see what kind of legendary we get guys so let's see let's see let's see let's see and it will be our <laughs> What is up guys, Sejiko Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will try to complete the Red Skulls draft challenge live for you guys. As you guys can see, I'm 9 to win the challenge right now, so I cannot afford losing like a single match. I need to win 3 more matches though to unlock the Red Skulls. The challenge started literally like a few hours ago, so I will try to complete it in my first try. But it will be a little bit tricky of course, because as I said, like I'm 9 to, so I can't afford losing once. So the Red Skull is actually a really interesting card. I'm not a huge fan of it, I don't think it will be like super OP or something like in the meta. But I do think maybe you can make some decks. I'm not sure what type of deck, but maybe with like a lock bait like type of thing. Just because the like the rascals behind it, like the rascal girls behind the rascal boy, actually do die to a lock, and they are quite pow powerful. So maybe it can be like really good in like let's say a lock bait version or something like this. But actually, I'm really excited also about my next episode, guys, because as you guys can see, you might already know this if you watched like some few like earlier episodes from me. But I already had some chests open, but right now I actually started unlocking them. I just have the legendary chest like 12 hours left on it, and then I will be able to open all of them at once. But actually, in the next video, I will try to get to 9 wins in the grand challenge first. Then in that episode, I will try to get to 12 wins, so this way I will actually show maybe even a rescue deck. Like, let me know if you guys would like to see a rescue 12 win grand challenge deck video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I think it will be really hyped. And then after that, like getting 12 wins in the Grand Challenge, if we're able to get it, we of course have the 12 win Grand Challenge chest, and then with the chest, combined with everything else, also even the quest, as you guys can see, Legendary King's chest, I just need to collect like the free chest, and then I'll have enough points, so I'm really, really excited about that episode, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that, and I would say let's just begin with the first match, guys, I will also give some tips on how to draft, for example, with drafting, it's really important to pick win conditions, just because you might end up with no win condition at all. So right now the Rascals or the Prince, in my opinion, like the Rascals aren't super, super powerful. And the Prince can actually be so like uh, extremely powerful. So Executioner or Wizard, in this case actually Executioner because the Wizard dies to one um, like charge of a Prince. So Goblin Barrel or Lava Hound. And so far he does have Rascals, Wizard and Lock. So I will actually give him the Lava Hound just because he actually had a lot of air counters. Like I don't want to get countered. And we do have the Executioner for the Lava Hound. And maybe if he goes with Lava Hound, we can go for example with a Prince Goblin Barrel in the other lane. So let's give him the thumbs up and let's give him the good luck. We do start off with Luke. He also gave us a Royal Giant. Ice Spirit, which is always nice to cycle, of course. And then with a Prince. So let's actually start off with the Ice Spirit at the bridge. Classic one. And let's see what the next card is. Looks like he actually gave us uh, a cannon card as well. So he has also a Giant. So it's Giant Lava Hound. He also has um, Arrows, Rascals. And then I think the last card was a Wizard. Well, of course, he has other cards as well, but the ones we gave him, let's, so let's see, let's go with Execution over here. Looks like he goes with his Wizard. I'll actually go with a Prince into this. Looks like we also have a Witch, so that's quite good, actually, on defense against the Lava Hound, the Witch. So it looks like the Prince will be able to take care of the, um, the Giant, and then hopefully dash into the Wizard, but looks like he goes with a Dark Prince. So I'm actually forced to go with a Lock and with a Cannon Card Defensive, but I think the Cannon Card will actually be able to survive and go for a Counter Push. So let's actually go with a go uh, like a Goblin Barrel, and let's see if the Cannon Card will be tanking. Looks like he goes with his Rascals. So actually a really good Rascals on his part. And I think the Rascal boy will be able to um, almost die. And let's see how the Ice Spirit actually does against the Rascals. I'm not sure how. I think it will die. But let's actually see. Let's go with the Ice Spirit right now. And looks like, yeah, looks like it will die. So it will be able to get a few chip damage. But not too much. The Rascals, like the DPS, isn't insane. But of course it will be able to get some chip damage. Down to 2,204 HP. So quite good. Like not bad at all. So let's see. Let's go to a Witch. Like let's go with a Witch into his... Um, Lava Hound, let's go with a Prince Offensive to kill his Princess. Looks like also to kill his Wizard, really, really good Prince. I think, the, yeah, the Prince actually two shots the Wizard, which is insane. So it looks like the Princess will go down, and let's see if we're able to hit the tower as well, guys. Let's actually go with the Execution as well, because he also went with a Dark Prince. And just to make sure we, like, don't take too much damage from the Lava Hound. So let's see if the Witch, uh, the Witch and the Wizard, or the Executioner, I'm sorry, uh, will be able to counter the Dark Prince. And then maybe we are actually able to get a Cannon Card in front. Looks like we're able to get a Cannon Card in front. And I'm not sure if I should go with my Goblin Barrel right now. Looks like I will actually definitely go with my Goblin Barrel just because he just spent 5 Elixir. I'm not sure if he has enough. And we do know that he has Arrows, but of course the Cannon Card is still there. The Executioner is still there. Witch is still there. So it looks like the Tower will go down for sure. I'll actually go with a Royal Giant in the middle to keep the pressure up. I'll actually support that with a Witch behind it. And let's see what he will drop right now. Let's also go with the Ice Spirit. Looks like he has Elite Barbarians. Wow, let's actually see if the Witch will be able to take care of them. Looks like the Witch is actually doing a really like, insane job of taking care of them. 
So it looks like the e bars even went down. And look at the damage for the three crown guys. Looks like his giant didn't even make it to our side. I think it will die to the witch. Looks like it did die to the witch. So he still has uh, arrows, of course. But let's go with the goblin barrel. Let's go with the prince in the middle. Let's see if he has something for this guy. Looks like he goes with the rest coast. Looks like he doesn't have enough for arrows. So look at the damage over there. Wow, well, insane amount of damage. Bring down the tower to 452 HP. So let's actually look over here, killing the uh, like uh, pushing back the giant, killing the um, well one second, killing the the princess and killing one of the rascals. So looks like he actually went with his witch, and I think he might be able to take the tower here, but I think this will not be enough time. And wow, that was actually really close. We didn't have anything for the elite barbarians, but let's give him the good game. Let's give him the warplate and let's give him the thumbs up. So a really close match actually near the end, just because I think if he had like maybe five more seconds, he would have taken the right side tower. But we were able to win, and that brings us at ten two. So we're two matches away from actually uh, unlocking the rascals. And looks like we get ten k gold. And also, guys, I actually had Bennett in the shop, so I will buy Bennett real quick, uh, just because if I need, I need one more to get to it. Um, like have ten out of the ten for level, uh, like level four. Excuse me. So I'll actually uh, buy the bandit right now and as you guys can see you got the bandit so I do only have 6k left but I do have enough bandits to upgrade it to level 4 so I don't like I can't upgrade it right now but maybe actually after the chest opening I will be able to get some gold especially if I also get a 12 in grand challenge video. So let's see 10-2 uh, in the grand challenge or 10-2 in the rascals draft challenge I'm sorry guys and let's see. So elite barbarians or inferno tower let's definitely go with uh, barbarian hut so fire spirits or archers i will go with my fire spirits just because fire spirits are actually quite good against barbarians and since we have barbarian hut uh bowler or witch definitely with a bowler just because as i said bowler is a counter to barbarians and right now this is really interesting because uh we don't really have anything against his balloon but he does have witch he has archers and inferno tower so i kind of want to go i would just go with a balloon even though he has quite a lot of counters for it i think balloon is definitely better than a royal giant and maybe we can surprise him with it so we do also have a rocket so let's give him the good game. Uh, let's give him the good luck. And let's give him the thumbs up. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I just woke up. It's quite early. And I think the commentary is like insane. I'm saying really uh, crazy stuff. I think even uh, like I called the Barbarian Hut Elite Barbarians. I'm really sorry for that, guys. But I guess it's funny. So let's see. Let's go with the Barbarian Hut over here. Looks like he also is a wizard. So let's see if we can go maybe with a bowler to the side. Looks like he gave us the Rescos, um, a Rocket as well, and it, like the Dark Prince. So let's see, let's go with a bowler to the side to counter his wizard. Let's see if he drops something else for it. Looks like he goes with his witch, so I'll actually have my Darpens ready for this one. But I think we might actually be able to break through just because we have a rocket. So maybe in double elixir we can actually make a really big push and then rocket, for example, maybe even his inferno tower. But looks like he goes with his uh, royal giant. So I'll actually go with my Darpens to the side. Then I will go with red skulls. And look at the left side, guys. Bowlers uh, being able to chip away, but also thank you for the barbarians. And the barbarians definitely deal a lot of chip damage. So really good execution on his part because he was able to kill the red skulls. The red skull girls so let's see looks like the rescue boy and dark prince will be able to take down the executioner but look at the left side guys down uh guys down to 943 hp and let's see if he will go with his maybe inferno tower but i'm thinking about going with electro wizard behind it i'll actually go with my balloon and then electro wizard and let's see if he goes with his inferno tower because this way the electro wizard will actually stun it so looks like he goes with his wizard and let's see if the balloon connects looks like it will there you go tower goes down the death damage will be able to finish it off the balloon didn't get a second hit but as i said the death damage will be able to finish off the tower so so far we're looking really good we have barbarian hut against his royal giant barbarian hut is really tanking we have bow uh tanky we have bowler against for example his wizard his witch etc so let's actually go with another barbarian hut and let's see what he drops right now so looks like he goes with his uh witch in the back so let's see let's have the bowler ready for his witch just because as i said like it's quite good against it and the splash damage is really nice so we also have he actually goes with um royal giant over there good placement on his part we'll be able to hit the tower from this side but of course we can go with a bowler and we'll still hit the royal giant over there so let's see looks like he goes with his prince let's actually go with fire spirits to the side let's go with a dark prince let's go with electro wizard i think and let's see if this electro wizard is good i think it was fine just because it will actually the dark prince will actually be able to kill it unfortunately the electro wizard did die but let's see guys so we still have a bowler over there. I'll actually go with my Baron Hut. One tail lower just because I don't want him to be able to put the Royal Giant. But maybe he still can. I'm not sure. Royal Giant range is actually quite uh, like far. So let's see. We still have a bowler there. Let's actually go with Rescals over here. Let's go with uh, Fire Spirits to the side. Let's see what he drops right now. The right side we don't really have to worry about just because we still have a Barbarian Hut over there. Let's actually go with the Darpens over here. Let's actually go with the Electro Wizard for his Archers and his Prints. And let's see what he will do right now. We do have a counter push. So let's actually go with a balloon for the three count guys. He actually goes with an executioner. But I don't think he has tornado. 
So even though he has Executioner, he won't be able to pull everything together. And we still are able to get the Balloon to the tower. And we actually had a uh, Rocket as well if needed. But I think, yeah, actually I think two Rockets would finish this. Yeah, definitely two Rockets would have finished it. So we might even have been able, well, like, uh, for example, if he took the Ryzen Tower somehow, we would have been able to cycle two Rockets on the King Tower and then actually three count him. So 11 doing the challenge right now, guys. And we just need one more. Right now I'm actually like hoping that we won't choke just because 11-3, we won't be able to unlock the Rest Call. So that would be really sad, of course. But let's see, guys. 11-2 right now. And hopefully you're able to uh, like get a good deck and then win the challenge. So let's see, Balloon or Graveyard? So this is really interesting, both are win conditions. I would actually pick Balloon in this case, just because I like it, and Tornado isn't that popular right now. Even if he has Tornado, like, um, Tornado doesn't, like, isn't as effective anymore. So this is interesting, Ice Spirit or Spear Goblins. I will actually pick uh, Spear Goblins, and then here I will actually go with Rescals, just because Rescals is actually quite good against Giant, and also because he has arrows, maybe he doesn't have anything to take down the Rescals um like the rescue boy etc and we also have a princess so, so far our deck is actually really interesting better and balloon princess tombstone arrow or uh, mega man we gave him the arrow so we need to watch out with that but let's see let's go with a princess let's actually go with a tombstone um up high this way the skeleton spawn right next to the road giant and are actually able to deal quite a lot of damage because the dps of skeletons is actually really really good so let's see guys so let's actually go with a better offensive and let's see how he responds to it we know that he has graveyard so we kind of need to keep the spear goblins for that and let's see, he goes with his Ice Wizard, and he goes with the Ice Spirit, so the better room unfortunately doesn't connect, but we do have still Barbarians over there. Looks like he actually goes with a Miner to the Princess, so it looks like the Barbarians did get, maybe the second one, yeah, does get another hit, so let's actually go with Balloon Offensive. And let's see what he has for our Balloon, guys. Maybe he doesn't have much, but looks like he actually has an Electro Wizard, so that's a really good counter to the Balloon. But look at the Spear Goblins, while the Spear Goblins were actually tanking, and looks like the Balloon is able to get a hit on the tower, bringing it down to, I think, 1000. But let's see, let's go with... Um, a princess let's go with a tombstone over here and we do need to go with rescals to the side and let's see how good they are for his graveyard unfortunately we don't have a mini spell looks like the rescals are able to deal like quite a lot of damage to the um, like are doing quite a good job at taking them down but unfortunately we do still take like lose the tower but we do have a kind of a counter push so let's see guys let's actually go with a better room in the other lane to keep the pressure he also used his arrow so let's actually support it with spear goblins and let's see if the rescals uh the rescal boy and the rescal girl are able to take down left side tower looks like he doesn't have anything for it so the left side tower will go down and let's see uh if we're able to deal some damage to the right side looks like one barbarian is able to get three hits yeah there you go three hits bring down the tower to 2057 um, so not bad at all but look at the damage for three count wow the rescals actually deal a lot of damage wow i didn't know that I mean, I knew that they were quite, uh, like, DPS-wise, quite good, but I didn't know so much damage. Brings down the tower to, like, the King Tower down to 2,248 HP. So, that's actually really good. Let's go with the Tombstone over here, and let's see if he has something. Looks like he goes with a Royal Giant right into the Tombstone, so really good Tombstone. So, let's see, guys. We do have um, a Mega Man over there. Looks like he actually used his arrow, so let's actually go with a better and Let's go with a Balloon for the 3 crown. Let's go with Spear Goblins behind it, knowing that he used his arrows. And let's see what we can do. Looks like he has a really good Electro Wizard, unfortunately, killing the Spear Goblins. So I don't think we will get much with this push. Maybe we will get one hit with a balloon. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Brings down the tower really low, I think. Just because the death damage is quite high. But we need to watch out with the graveyard. Uh, let's go with Rescals. Let's go with Mega Man. Let's actually go with a Tombstone Defensive. And he will probably go with his arrows. Looks like he goes with his... Um with his miner, let's go with spear goblins to the side. And so far, the defense is looking really good, guys. Unfortunately, the rescals did die. But let's see. I'm kind of thinking if I should go for the three count. I think I should just because we already went for it. And I already have it down to 1178. So let's actually go with a better ram. Let's go with a balloon. Let's actually support it with a mega million, knowing that he has electro wizard. There you go. There's his electro wizard. And he does also have an ice spirit. So he will go with the ice spirit. He will go with his um, ice wizard. But look at the balloon, guys. Maybe the balloon will be able to get the death damage. There you go. Definitely the death damage. Let's also go with a princess. Looks like he goes with a mega minion. But the mega minion is actually able to bring it into rocket range. And the rocket will be able to three count. So really nice, guys. We completed the challenge from 9 2 to 12 2. That's awesome. I was really afraid to go 11 3 and then not being able to unlock the rest calls. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, you guys could learn something. And I would say, let's just unlock the rescals, guys. There you guys go. 200 common cards. Actually, really happy about it that it's a common card just because we're able to, um, like, upgrade it easier, like, get it easier from basically every chest. So, there you guys have it. Uh, rescals unlock 200 rescal cards. And we also have a chest opening. But let's see. Let's actually scroll down real quick to see the rescals. Um... There you go, new card. Let's actually upgrade them real quick just because we actually got 200 cards. I'm not sure how much, uh, what level it will be. I think around level 7 or 8 maybe. Let's see. 
uh, I think one more, yeah, there you go, actually level 7, it's not bad at all, and then 14 out of the 200, so actually level 7 risk goals, as I said in the beginning of the episode, if you guys would like to be, like, the next episode from 9 wins to 12 wins in a grand challenge, trying with, maybe with a risk goals, like, 12 win grand challenge deck video, that would be awesome, and then at the end of that episode, open up all these chests, I think that will be an insane episode, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that video, and I would say let's just get into this chest opening, I'm not sure if this is a good chest, looks like it's not bad, um, 11k gold, so that's not bad at all, so let's see, next card will be 7 minions, uh, 14 knights, some rescals, which is really nice, oh, that's awesome, we actually have it like uh, close, like closer to tournament standard, level 9 is tournament standard of course, so flying machine, we get some cannons, we get elite barbarians, we get furnace, and I think actually if we got a lot of epic guys, we get a legendary, I'm not sure if we're, uh, if we're able to get a legendary, but that would be insane, let's see if we get it, looks like we actually do get a legendary, wow, 5 executioners, and we do end up the episode with a, uh, a legendary, wow. I'm really sorry about the commentary this video guys, I'm not sure why, maybe it's because it's quite early and like maybe I'm just so excited about like the chess video, uh, the new card, like the challenge, the draft challenge, whatever, just I'm making a ton of mistakes, I'm really sorry for that guys, but we do end up the episode with legendary and I would say let's just see what kind of legendary we get guys, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, and it will be a... Uh Looks like actually a Royal Ghost. Royal Ghost is actually really strong right now. And 3 out of the 4 for level 3. So I'm really happy with this Royal Ghost. So I would say, wow, well, just smash that like button. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in all of my next videos. Bye, guys.